What's going on guys, Jesse from Sled Addicts here. So in today's video, we're gonna be installing a set of Bergstrom six inch triple point carbides on my dad's uh, Polaris VR1 850. So as you guys know, we've been loving these Bergstrom triple points. We've been using them on our XRSs for the past few years. Uh, and this year particularly, we switched the VR1 from the Pro Steer skis to the Gripper skis. And I didn't have any carbides put on, so right now the sled's sitting in my trailer with no carbides. And we're gonna go ahead and install those Bergstrom six inch triple points. Uh, just to give you guys a little bit of a backstory, uh, the past couple of years I've been having some issues with the Pro Steer skis, particularly at the end of the season, uh, the last ride. My uh, inside ski has been dissolving and the carbides have been breaking off. And later on this season, I'm gonna do a video comparing Pro Steer and Gripper skis once I've had a little more time on the Gripper skis. But I've heard nothing but good things about these skis. That's why I swapped to them. So yeah, let's go ahead and install those carbides. Okay, so in the box I got with the carbides, I got the actual uh, pair of six inch triple points. They come with the ski savers uh, for each ski, as well as a shim kit for the gripper skis, which we'll go through in the install, and some stickers and some instructions. So let's get to it. One thing I just wanted to highlight before we get into the actual install of the carbides is something that I find really cool. The fact that Bergstrom gives you the shims with their carbides is something that separates them from most other uh, carbide manufacturers that I know of. So basically they include the shims for a number of reasons. Primarily, number one, most uh, carbide ski setups, the front of your ski has more weight on it. So the carbide wears uneven or the front wears uh, more than the back. Uh, so the shim kit basically by, uh, adds more pressure to the back part of the ski. That way your carbide will wear more evenly and it will last longer and perform better. The other main reason for why Bergstrom gives you those shims is for anti-darting. So the shims help a lot uh, with displacing the pressure on the ski and that results in a better corner-to-corner uh, -corner experience with less experience of darting. So the first thing you're going to want to do is remove your skis. So with the gripper skis you're looking at a 5.8 socket and a 15 millimeter wrench. So that's what I'm using here. I'm just gonna go ahead and remove the skis from the sled. skis off the sled super easy we're just going to slide the triple points into place remembering that with the shims uh, the insert should be facing the inside they usually come like this but just to make sure and then based on your holes these two holes are closer together these two are closer together I'm gonna slide right into place I'm gonna do the same thing on the other ski here left to do is just put the nuts on the on the top and tighten those up don't forget put your washers on here first Gonna do the same thing with the other one. There you go, second carbide done. So now that we have our carbides installed on our skis, the last thing we have to do before we can reinstall those skis on the sled is shim the rubbers. So these are the ski rubbers for the, for the VR1. And basically you can see there's a line here and a line here from the compression uh, on the ski that's formed. So basically these plastic pieces go right there. So what I'm gonna do is just tighten these in with a screw and then put them back on the ski. Just like that. So I'm going to do the same thing 
on the other rubber. So now with the shims installed, the rubbers can go right back on the ski. So now that the carbides have been installed on the skis and the rubbers have been shimmed, all that's left to do is just connect the skis back to the spindles. So let's do that. Peasy. Well, there you have it, guys. That was the install of the six inch Bergstrom triple point carbides and my dad's Polaris VR1850. If you have any questions about these carbide setups, uh, definitely shoot me a message at jesse at sledx.com or leave a comment below. And stay tuned for later this season. We'll do a video talking about how the six inch carbides perform on this sled because we haven't run them on the Matrix platform just yet. And uh, yeah, we'll also do videos talking about the gripper skis and how those work, so definitely stay tuned. And thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.